Well, in the previous lecture, I was talking about shift reduced, the bottom up approach uh, for for dependency parsing. But in this lecture, I will I will uh, use that. So that is the, our baseline. But we use the global uh, normalization for that uh, model, which was transition based. And these are amazing scholars. So the paper that I'm going to explain is uh, globally normalized transition based neural networks. And we discussed the importance of global as opposed to local normalization. A key insight is that the label bias problem implies that globally normalized models can be strictly more expressive than locally normalized models. And this lo uh, lo label bias problem, for example, it arises if you watch my playlist for uh, maximum entropy Markov model, uh, I've explained that it, it arises in those cases. And there is a solution. So if you watch my playlist for conditional random field, conditional random field has less label bias problem. It doesn't have label uh, bias problem, uh, but it has its own um, disadvantages. And we demonstrate that feedforward networks without any recurrence can achieve comparable or better accuracies than LSTM as long as they are globally normalized. So we perform beam search for maintaining multiple hypotheses and introduce a global normalization with CRF objective. So CRF is, uh, is a way to avoid the problem of label bias that occurs in uh, maximum entropy Markov model. So to overcome this, and since we use beam inference, we approximate the partition function by summing over the elements in the beam and use early updates. And we compute gradients based on this approximate global normalization and perform full backpropagation training of all neural network parameters based on the CRF loss. So the transition system is like the previous lecture, that great paper of this, uh, Christopher Manning in 2014. So I don't repeat it, everything is the same. But um, yeah, almost everything is the same. And uh, the scoring function that we were talking about is a feed forward neural networks. So th the theta are the parameters of log linear models that, you know, log linear models, we use it for uh, maximum entropy Markov models, we use it for conditional random fields, and many other uh, models in machine learning. It's very uh, practical and uh, popular because it's very natural and easy. And uh, so in the previous, uh, in the previous lecture, I guess, uh, where we were talking about the article of 2014 of Christopher Manning, uh, we were using just the greedy approach, the greedy parsing, just like this. Of course, we had states, and this says that we assume that um, for example, if it reaches some, if, if it, uh, after a sequence of decisions, decision one, then decision, we reach some states. So these states represents all the sequence of actions before. And this is the idea that is here, shown here. So again, uh, uh, here we are showing that we are using uh, greedy parsing, but in this paper, we are using another thing. We are not using local normalization. We are using global normalization, like here. Because now, uh, conditional random fields defines a distribution, this distribution, that our normalization constant is, is this. 
And then DN is the set of uh, valid sequences of decisions. So we ignore if it is not uh, valid. And we call this ZG the global normalization term because it's aware of all of the co uh, context uh, and uh, also, so it is not just one one local thing that we use the greedy approach. We are aware of the total informations. And the training is very easy. So under a locally normalized model, so this is for local normalized model that we used to do. But for globally normalized, we do like this. Instead of ZL, it becomes ZG. And it, instead of that, this becomes a pair. And uh, for the global beam, we use this. So we use back propagation using this equation, equation six, and back propagate gradients to all levels of a neural network, defining the score. So if the goal path remains in the beam throughout the coding, a gradient step is performed. But this arises the label bias problem. Um, that's why uh, if you watch my playlist for uh, label bias problem, where is that? Please watch my playlist for maximum entropy Markov model. First, I explained uh, this maximum entropy Markov model in my pl playlist for MEMM. And then I, I explained why label by what is label bias problem and why it occurs in maximum entropy Markov model. And I explained that CRF is a good solution. So let's come back to where we so the global models can be strictly more expressive. That's obvious. So there are good references for label bias problem if you are a beginner to label bias problem. Um, the very uh, old ones are this and, but uh, this one is from Auni Hanum that I introduced in the beginning of this lecture. Uh, uh, and and you, this one, this paper is also nice by John Lafferty. So the label boss problem. Uh, this model gains again make, uh, makes use of scoring function. And so these are the results you see for uh, for the local for beam of sixteen. We have improvement for English is always easy. You see, always more than all the rest of them. 91, 93. And the label bias problem. So many sequence classification models suffer from the label bias problem. Understanding the label bias problem and when a certain model suffers from it is a subtle but it's essential to understand the design of models like conditional random field. So if you watch my playlist for conditional random field and graph transformer networks. Well, I have explained transformer networks, but I don't remember if I've explained graph transformer networks. The label bias problem. So this is a good example, simple example. Uh, I think I've explained it in a different playlist. So suppose we have a task like predicting the parts of for a part of speech for each word. For example, taking the sentence the cat sat, which consists of the tokens the cat sat. We would like our model to output the sequence article noun verb. So a classic discriminative sequence model for solving this problem is the maximum entropy Markov model. The graphical model for the MEMM is shown here. And you see the axis, the input to the, uh, these are observations sequence and Y is the output or the label sequence. So if you watch my players on MEMM, 
This is M E M M. Maximum entropy Markov model. I explain label bias problem and uh, why CRF is a good solution for that.